for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So we start with the recent past, the Ace of Cups. Now with the Ace of Cups, it's an excellent card in the tarot regarding love. It could be an existing relationship is going to take a turn for the better, or it did in the past. Now, if it's a, if it is or was an existing relationship, this could have been taken to a deeper level of understanding or commitment, or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It could have felt almost like a new an encouraging start at that time. So if you were not committed, a new relationship was likely to appear soon. And then we have this card paired with a Ten of Wands. Now, as you can see in the picture of this card, it signifies a hard place in a relationship. Now, it could have been that your lover or loved one was undergoing a rough time and it had nothing to do with your relationship but it needed your support. So more than often it indicates that there was something in the relationship what in something in the relationship that need it to be examined, looked at, and considered. You knew that you would not gain anything by pretending that there were no problems in the relationship. Also, if you were in the market for love at that time, there was no need to despair. You knew that your time would come eventually, but perhaps then was not a good time to start your search and just take time for rest and, re and reflection. And then that was the past. And now we move on to the present. We have the Hermit card. Now this picture clearly depicts and clearly shows that it's possible that a romance from your past may be rekindled. You want to ask yourself, is that what you really want? Now, keep in mind, it seems that romantic relationships are not currently a priority for you right now. So if your head says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, look at your behavior. Does your behavior, does your behavior align with that analysis? Now, in a committed relationship, you might have been moving in different directions for a while now. So make sure to, excuse me, make sure to make the time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. And that's if you're already in a committed relationship. And we have this card paired with the Ten of Cups. So if you're worrying about a romantic relationship and this card comes up in a reading, it's a clear indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. Let's see, your, well you and your lover or loved one you're on the same page and you may not even know it. You're just not talking about it. Or you just don't feel it, but you're definitely on the same page. And if you're in a relationship but have not made it a formal commitment yet and hope that it comes to pass, take heart. Just know that it's coming. It's on the way. So make sure you don't sabotage things by causing problems 
where there aren't any. So with these two cards paired together, the Hermit card, like I said, it's about a romance from the past being rekindled. And you're asking yourself, is this what you really want? Is this what you really need at this time? Um, you're asking yourself that. And being that it's paired with the Ten of Cups, it's letting you know that you have nothing to be concerned about because when you get this card in a, in a reading, it's a clear indicator that all is good when it comes to love. And like I said before, you really don't have anything to worry about because you and your lover or your romantic interest or this person from the past that wants to rekindle with you, you both are on the same page. So try not to sabotage things by causing problems where there aren't any. And that's in the present. Now we move on to the challenge. The Seven of Pentacles. Now with the Seven of Pentacles, in regards to love, it points to things going very well for the person that you have your heart set on. Now, if you are not in a committed relationship, you need to make sure to be open to other possibilities. However, none of us have just one person that is the only person that we can be with and have a deep, soulful, meaningful, happy relationship. So don't give in to feelings of suspicion or fear. All is well. Just know that all is well. And then we have this card paired with the Tower card. Now this card can be, but not necessarily, an indicator of a relationship that's about to come to an end. It can be, but not necessarily. Remember that. So if you are in a relationship that you absolutely, positively don't want to see come to an end. This is an important time for damage control and for clear communications. Now what you need to do is find out how your partner is feeling. Find out how your partner is doing. Don't make assumptions. Find out for sure. And with these two cards paired together, the Seven of Pentacles is basically letting you know that things are going well for your lover, the person that you have your heart set on. So, also if you're in a committed relationship already, you need to be open to other possibilities. Just remember that there's more than one person for you because it's paired with the tower card. So your relationship that you're in may need to be worked on. You may need to communicate more. Um, don't make assumptions about what's going on. Talk to your partner. If you feel like things are going in a bad way or not a good way, do damage control. Damage control, it works. That's how so many people have been married for so long and just start to communicate and talk more and work on any issues and problems so that the situation doesn't get out of control and out of hand. And that's going to be the challenge. And then we move on to the outcome, the five of wands. Now the person you have your eye on As you can see in the picture of this card, the person that you have your eye on, they could or they may be being pursued by several people. If that is the case, even so, you need to give it your best shot. You need to know that you have done all that you could do, all that you can do for this relationship where your heart is involved. Now, just keep in mind, this can also work the other way around. 
meaning that you're being pursued or you're going to be pursued by several interested people romantically. And then we have this card paired with the Ace of Wands. So if you're single, this can indicate the beginning of a new love relationship headed your way. It's coming your way, okay? So make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you. So if you're already committed, this card, the Ace of Wands, it tells you that the relationship is about to undergo a new beginning and it will rise to new levels of understanding each other. So you two will be expressing yourselves to each other. And then we have, well that was the outcome, but with these two cards paired together, now as the Five of Wands explains and as you can clearly see, uh, your person of interest or your lover could be pursued by several people or this could be you so it could go either way and that both of you or who's ever being pursued or not being pursued need to give the relationship its best shot because you have something to offer if you're the one who needs to give it the best shot to the lover who's being pursued or like I said it could go either way it could be you or them so give it your best shot regardless regardless of all the other surroundings that's happening. And it's paired with the Ace of Wands. Um, once you tackle that challenging situation with all the other competition going on with your love interests, um, it turns out very well with the Ace of Wands because it's a time for new beginnings Okay, someone new heading your, headed your way or the relationship that had a lot of competition turns into your favor. You guys will be expressing yourself to new levels of understanding and it will rise to new levels and new heights in the relationship. So it turns out for the better, even with all the competition, whether it's you or whether it's him. And once again, that was the outcome. So Gemini, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. And I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day.